Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an application for your Mac called Page Me Up. We're going to go ahead and open up Page Me Up and it brings us into an untitled document where we can see some of our base controls over here on the right hand side. Page Me Up is going to be perfect for creating some websites, uh, graphical elements such as posters, postcards, flyers, banners, anything like that we can go ahead and lay out here in Page Me Up. I'm going to go ahead and open up a document that we have here on our desktop just to show you all the possibilities you have with Page Me Up. Over here on the left hand side we have our hierarchy, so our HTML website, we can see we have the newspaper, we have a masks page that we made, a vacations, a polygon page, and even stars. So there are countless options here. If I tap on any of these you see this is a text box with fully editable text. We've imported images and we can see all of the detail information over here in our inspector. What I can also do is we can choose our scale options for images. So if I wanted to do a custom scale, what this allow me to do is if I hold down the actual Apple or option key, it's going to allow me to scale the mask of the image. If I hold down the shift key and then drag, it's actually going to proportionally scale the image while maintaining the mask that we've already created. Notice that as I move around images or any of the text boxes, it's going to start lining up with guides based upon images that are already on the page or even text boxes. Now over here in the document, I can change my units. I have points, inches, millimeters, or picas, and I can choose my page format to be, you see I have credit card all the way down to some of my standard US page document sizes, or I can even enter in my own custom width and change my page background and even the staging color. So if I zoom out here, the staging color is this dark gray. My background, if I were to delete my background image, would turn to a green. So we'll go ahead and delete some of these images out of here, and it should turn into a green for my page background. Background. You can always do an undo just as you would in any other document. We have our color profile, which we can choose and change in here. These are all the color profiles that we have installed on the machine that we're currently on. And we can go ahead and choose in CMYK colors and RGB color profiles as well. Setting up your margins is a breeze. Just go ahead and choose how you want your margins to show up. You can go ahead and just click and increase, or what you can actually do is just go ahead and come in here and enter in your own values. We have rows and columns where we can set up these borders for our rows and columns. We have margins and borders, and then we can go ahead and turn all of our guides on. And now you can see we see all the guides, and then we can even choose the custom colors for guides by clicking in here and choosing in our color palette, and that's going to change the color of any of our guides. Now this web right here, if we click on any one of these images, or if we even highlight a portion of text, we can have these texts or images set as links. Go ahead and click link and we can choose either an HTML item, which is in our hierarchy over here on the left hand side. We can do an external URL, an email, or we can drag in a file, maybe like a PDF document here, and go ahead and link any of these images up here. And we can choose to have this open in a new window, and then we can give it our tool tip, which is actually going to maybe say for this one we'll do a newspaper. And that's gonna be the tool tip that highlights whenever someone highlights over this link. We also have options for rollover colors and on-click colors on certain images. If we click on them, we're able to do that. And then over here, we have some more options, such as our position of this box is showing me the actual dimensions for the box. And I can go ahead, you see as I scale up, it shows me the X and Y position as well as the relative size of the image itself. I can rotate my image with this rotator. There's also an option right here inside the image to rotate it by itself. We can choose our mask. We have a rounded, an oval, polygon, as well as a star. And notice with the polygon and star, we have some more options. On the polygon, I can choose to increase the sides, and the star, I can also increase the inset and also the verticalness. So here we go, we got that going on. And we can choose our fill color for our different masks here as well. And you see that's changing in the background of the image. I can go ahead and choose a stroke or a shadow for the image as well. Notice that as a stroke adds the outline, a shadow adds a drop shadow, and then we have our image controls down here as well. We can choose a scale to fit, scale to feel, or scale for custom. And you see on these directions we can scale up, down, or up and down, and then axis independently if we had that option. And if I highlight any of my text, what I can do is I can choose the different color. So if I didn't want this text to be black anymore, maybe I wanted it to be red, I can go ahead and make that text red. Now you notice that my changes have been made. I can choose hyphenation. If I don't want words to hyphenate, go ahead and leave that off. And I can also change my margins. Notice as I do that, my text is now margined 
to the edge of the actual text box. And if I highlight my text, I can also choose shadows for specific portions of text if I'd like to, as well as I can go ahead and change some text links and colors here for text independently as well. At the top of the screen, we do have some basic formatting options, such as making your text left, left justified, centered, right justified, or justified centerly right here as well. Here's our line spacing. Here's our bullets and formats. You see you can change all this right up here. It's making changes directly to my document. Now I can also come in here if we create a new page here. This is a blank page added into my HTML hierarchy. And I also have the book that I can see all the pages by themselves. Now we have page preview. It's opening up in our web browser and now I can see everything that's going on here and I can even click on any of the links if they were, if I had made active links inside of this document. Now I'll go ahead and come back. We have our options up here to add image text box or a text box, or we can just drag images in from our finder or anything like that to add images. Come up to here and if we go to export, this is a great option here. We can export as a PDF. We can choose where we do our documents. We can change the format from PDF to TIFF to JPEG and PNG. We can also embed a custom profile, so our ICC profile. We can choose from all the profiles here inside the application. So this is really gonna be helpful if you're trying to embed it and print it somewhere. You can embed that color profile, choose your quality, choose what pages or file format you would like to export as and you can even include your header and you can change where this is going to be saved at on your actual desktop for mac and if we close this you see it's going to ask us to save our changes we'll go ahead and discard those for now and then you can always open up another file here's another document that i quickly had put together and you can see i've added in a bunch of images that were on my local machine i've added in my own text boxes and even my own background and then i can even customize all these links down below so once again, this application is called Page Me Up. If you like it, be sure and pick it up in the Mac App Store or from their website today.